All right, TM Nation, so I purchased my first pair of Tozo earbuds right around nine months ago, and since then I've picked up several other pairs just because I've been impressed with their price to performance. And just about a week ago, I got my hands on a pair of the new and improved Tozo NC7s. I've put them through all of my normal testing, and guys, right now I can tell you these are definitely in my top five earbuds for under 50 bucks. They definitely check almost every box that I look for in a well-rounded pair of earbuds, but at under 50 bucks, they certainly can't check all of them. So in this video, I'll talk to you guys about where they excel in, and I will also cover some of the features that they're missing so that you guys can make a more informed buying decision. Starting off with what you'll get inside of the box, you pretty much get the essentials and really nothing extra. You get your user manual and a quick start guide, a USB type C cable to charge the case, different sized ear tips, and of course you'll get the case along with the earbuds. Overall, it does feel sturdy in the hand, so it should withstand a decent amount of wear and tear. But not only that, I do like the form factor. It's certainly small enough to fit in most normal sized pockets. It also supports wireless charging, which is always a plus in my opinion. Now as for the form factor of the earbuds, I would say that the NC7s are on the smaller side, but I would not classify them as mini earbuds. They did feel comfortable to my ears right out of the box, so I didn't have to take off the stock ear tips and play with the others. So far, I've used them for five to six hours at a time without any ear fatigue or discomfort. Also, even though they don't have any ear hooks or wings, they have stayed in place for me during exercise relatively well. Even once the sweat started flowing, they still hugged my ears and even though I did have to reposition them a few times while jumping rope, I never felt like they were gonna completely fall out of my ears. They also have never malfunctioned on me while they were wet as they do carry an IPX6 water resistance rating, which is completely fine for splashes of water and sweat. Battery life wise, these are also very impressive, especially at the price. They're advertised at providing up to 10 and a half hours on a charge. And although I haven't been able to achieve that number, I have been able to get just over eight hours during mixed use. The majority of my testing was at between 50 and 75% of the max volume with ANC on most of the time, so your mileage may vary depending on your settings. Speaking of active noise cancellation, these do provide that feature as well as transparency that is customizable through the Tozo app. There are built-in modes that you can choose from or you can adjust the strength to your liking using the custom mode slider. But I would say that the ANC performance is impressive I think that they'll do just fine for medium to lower levels of talking, or if you're looking for something to use on public transit, I think that they'll filter out a good amount of that noise. Now, although I think that the ANC performance that these provide is gonna be more than adequate for most people, I certainly wouldn't classify them as upper or top tier ANC earbuds. If you're looking for the best ANC that Tozo has to offer, you probably wanna take a look at the Golden Buds. The transparency performance is also respectable if you need to maintain situational awareness, but it's really not gonna pick up much sound outside of your immediate vicinity. Inside of the app, you can also customize your playback controls, see the charge left on each individual earbud, access the user manual on the go, choose from pre-built EQs or create your own, and complete firmware updates when applicable. I do like the fact that you have access to all of the touch controls that you would need, but these also do feature in-ear detection. So if you take one or both of the earbuds out, they will pause automatically. And then when you replace them, they will resume from where you left off. Being that the NC7s are using Bluetooth 5.3, I haven't experienced any noticeable lag watching YouTube videos or Amazon Prime movies on either my Android or iOS devices. However, I would not recommend these earbuds to a hardcore mobile gamer as they don't have a built-in low latency mode. So if you're looking for a near instant response, these are probably not your best bet. You also do not get compatibility with the higher definition codecs such as Aptex and LDAC with the NC7s. So if those are features that you're looking for, 
you're gonna have to look elsewhere. Relative to the audio quality, these really impressed me out of the box with how good they sounded, and unlike a lot of other earbuds in my collection, I did not have to create a custom EQ to get a sound signature that I liked. Now I did eventually create my own because I always do, but if you're the type of person that does not like to play with the EQ bands, I think that the Jazz EQ is a good starting point. This stock EQ sounded the best for the type of music that I listen to, which is mainly hip hop and R&B. Here I was able to get a nice full and bright sound with the highs and mids coming through loud and clear and bass that is boomy, but not overpowering. But when I created my own custom EQ, I was able to dial them into my liking even more, so I bumped up the bass and the highs just a bit for a overall more dynamic sound. That being said guys, I've been able to use the NC7s for all of my listening needs without feeling like I was missing out on something that I should be hearing. Touching on the call quality, the NC7s use dual noise canceling microphones that are supposed to focus on your speech while rejecting some of the ambient noise going on around you. I've made quite a few voice calls using them and I definitely think that the quality is passable, but as always, I did take samples just so you guys can judge for yourselves. Let's check them out. All right guys, so right now I have the earbuds paired to my iPhone 14 Pro. As you can see, the audio that you're hearing is coming directly from the microphones on them and I'm not gonna do any type of editing to this sample. So this should give you a pretty good idea of how these will perform in a relatively quiet room. And now I have some simulated background noise playing in the background. Everything else about this test is exactly the same, still paired to the iPhone 14 Pro, still not gonna do any type of editing to this sample. So this should give you a pretty good idea of how these will focus on your speech while rejecting some of your ambient noise. So taking everything into consideration, fam, this is another really impressive pair of earbuds from Tozo. And to be completely honest, this makes it really difficult for the average person to justify spending more than 50 bucks on a pair of earbuds. No, they don't have AppDex or LDAC compatibility, and they don't feature a low latency mode for gaming, but outside of those shortcomings, these offer solid specs and performance in the major areas that most people look for at a reasonable price. In fact, right now on Amazon, these are on sale for an extra 20% off, which is gonna bring the price down to $39.99, and I can tell you that without a doubt, these are the best pair of earbuds that I own at that price point. Before you get on out of here, if you rock with the channel and your boy Tecmo, hit that subscribe button and knock that notification bell out so you won't miss any of my uploads. Welcome to TM Nation. Peace.